There. That feels a little bit more normal for me. This is all new to me, so normal is no, not a thing. There's, there's no such thing as normal here. Cool. And that, it's going to be weird because I've got part, of, got part of your... No, anyway. Now we're good. Now we're in the right microphones. Now we're in the right thing. Here we go. Dialed, baby. Dialed Let's go. in. Let's go. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Tech Tuesday. My name is Ben. And I'm Bradley. And we're getting ready to jump into episode 22. Like last week, we have a lot of comments to get into. Yeah. So we're just going to go right into it, jump right into it. I'm super excited to have Bradley back onto the show. Like we said last time, um, we're just going to try and move people in and out as Mixing much as possible, bit, you know? switch it up. Yeah, exactly. Get a little bit of different expertise in here. Allows Tim to do other things, allows me to do other things, Bradley, TJ, et cetera. So We'll just jump right in to question one. Question one, Mark NW3DI says, I'd like to see a web page with an in-depth manual showing every individual option in the advanced tuning software, their function, how they might affect drivability, and how they can be used for troubleshooting. Well, um, that is... I do, you probably know more than I do on the on the advanced tuning software manual. I yeah. do know that they're wanting to, and we are in the process of creating smaller short form videos. Actually, we released two yesterday yep. about how to even tune from the handheld or other, you know, tuning software. Yeah, and we've got events. the new software coming out now. Well, mm -hmm. soon it's coming out soon. It should be here um, in the next few days. The short video is already out mm -hmm. though. So. Mm -hmm. Um, if you go look on ACES or Tim's YouTube, you can find the video with the new software that's going to be on the website soon. And what it has is the fuel table offset option in the actual handheld. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a huge plus for yep. down the road. Um, you don't even have to get on the laptop. You can do all that on right. the handheld, which right. is a huge, huge plus. But as far as the advanced tuning software goes, um, I do believe that we are we are actually working on some sort of uh, training course video yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. We're just going to put more information out about that specifically on YouTube because we get a lot of questions about that. Question two. Bryant Stillwell, mm -hmm. 6723. I just became a dealer a week or so ago and Let's have go. been working with Joe, who has been, who has been great. I've been on the dyno shop and do tuning out of Rapid City South, SD. South Dakota, I think. South Dakota, okay. If anyone needs needs <laughs> dialed in beyond this handheld, Ben and Matt, him. Where do you get Matt from? I don't know. Not sure about that. I look forward to working with you in both future, maybe some advanced classes, videos, installer, tuners in the future. Yeah. So almost the same thing yeah, we just yeah, ran yeah, into. Yeah, very cool. Um, And, you know, with that, when you become a dealer and even beyond that an advanced tuner, you get put on our um uh on the map on the map mm -hmm. you get put on the map so we can yeah. recommend to people in that area um to go um check them out all right see franco uh yt thanks for answering my question i will try all of your suggestions ordered the usb can cable for pc tuning for the corvette style regulator to adjust the rated injector pressure in my handheld uh said to kpa just double check 58 equals 400 ish kpa um okay so this is actually important um you can actually change from metric to imperial units in the handheld you just go okay. into um uh settings you go to you're just gonna have to help me out here you go to settings bradley and then you go to does it say units like units of met measure or something like that it's one of those it's one of those circles there at the bottom um measurements or something like that and you can actually switch from metric to imperial. So I don't know that what the conversion is right off the top of my head unless you do. Let's look it up. Um then as far as I know um as far as I know it's just right there in the settings where you can change it from yeah. metric to imperial. Yep, 400. Yeah, Three, well, you got it. 9.89 Five nine two three. Yeah, it's four hundred. Bruce Parker, WW seven PX. Mm. Thanks for answering my questions about the full house TBI kit. I'm wanting to try it on a five forty big block Chevy. I would like to know the results of your buddy's race car. Yep. And 
you know, with the new software that's coming out, if they do get a really good tune on it. Yeah. That so that's another cool thing about the new yeah. software. If you actually watch the YouTube video, not only can you do the field table offset, but you can also extract a tune off and save it to a USB. And say you've got that USB, your buddy's got a similar setup, go flash that onto his ECU and get all of those base parameters that you have from that tune and you have a better start instead of starting yep. from scratch. Scratch. So that's huge. Even plus. though I talked to a guy, we were just in the World of Wheels in Birmingham, mm -hmm. and he said, by comparison to <clears throat> Ollie, <clears throat> um, oh, not the H word, uh, not the H word, <laughs> um, but we actually have a better base learning system just out the gate. Yeah. Though he also said that there was an opportunity for doing a Tech Tuesday down there um, in Alabama, something about a camel. I'm just going to leave it what? there. I'm just going to leave that a camel. There. Mm -hmm. I can't, I'm leaving it like here. An actual leaving it there. Okay. It'd be something we'll do in the future. Super excited for that. All right. Awesome. Um, Doc 4244 EFA. Um, cool about the van. Wait, no, no. I was jumping the gun. Yep. I Just, moved it up. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Just saw your new view, a video. I have a five inch handheld with a 2.07 firmware. Tried to do the fuel setting, but there is no fuel table offset. Is there another firmware coming out? You yep. look at that. I just said it. Look at that. Head of the Perfect. curve, man. I'm us. answering like two questions yeah. ahead. You, you really do need to just be in here more often. Here we go. Sun uh Sunday hand wound. Sunday hand wound. Am I reading that right? I believe I'm so. So for clarification on this, mm -hmm. uh doc. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's it coming is very soon. Two point ten to 10. be exact. Mm -hmm. So when you see that on there, it should be here this that week. Thing on there. I Good put out go. the video. I put out the video. It should be out there this week. Sunday hand wound. Mm. Question, who knows at this point? Cool about the van. Got my deuces wild for my 80 F100 3. F100 300 today. Going on an Aussie speed two barrel manifold. Really hope to show the van. You show the van setup. We'll do. Um, that'll probably be more so showcased on Tim's social medias yeah. than just ours. Because it's not technically aces. Um, however, there will be stuff with that. I've speaking of the van, dude. Did you hear the name? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, that thing will get plenty of uh social media coverage, yeah. so you'll see it. Just watch it place. there. This, yeah, go yeah. check out Tim's social media Pretty and cool stuff plans like that. For that thing. He's Action Vulture on YouTube, and then find him on uh, Facebook, yeah. Tim Scott. Um, where's my 10 millimeter, dude? Let's awesome go. Name. Let's go. Hey guys, almost ready to finally try and run my rotary with the kill shot. My question, can I extend the wiring harness that plugs into the throttle body, big 20-ish pin block with the same uh, Deutsch connectors, uh, German connectors, I love that. My ideal location is about three feet from the length I need. Will the effect, will that affect any of the resistance information in the ECU and are there any wires I can't cut? I don't mind that. I'll void my warranty. That sounds like a tech call just out the gate. Yeah. But um, what I do know is um, here's the issue with extending the wiring harness. Um, it's not so much the ECU having to deal with the resistance as much as it is, and maybe you're saying this, the signal being weaker because of the longer wires. Shouldn't necessarily be an issue. Shouldn't necessarily be an issue. Um, but I would not cut any wires. The loose wire harness, you can you can kind of leave be, kind of cap it off. Um, if you're not using certain things, um, I would recommend using the fans. Mm -hmm. But you know, stuff like the V main, um, rev, anything that might be on that loose wire harness, you can go ahead and cap off that you're not needing. Um, as far as cutting anything, if you're not using it in your build, don't worry about it. Don't just kind of leave, just leave, leave as like, is. Don't zip tie don't, it up, tie it up somewhere. Yeah. You ain't got to cut nothing. Yeah. If, um, what I would say, if you would like to, um, go ahead and take a picture of what you're using to extend the harness and send that over to customer service at acesefi.com and they can get back with you or tech or yeah tech, tech at aces tech, tech support at acesefi.com and they can say yes or no from there yeah. um either tim will see that tj will see it bradley will see it they can kind of convene together with 
what they have um, and see if that'll work. So yeah. it's interesting though. It's pretty yeah. cool to see yeah. our stuff going on, things like that, yeah. instead of just classic cars. Yeah. You know? I think it'll work. Yeah. I don't think it'd be an issue. Yeah. 78 <laughs> SVO. Let's go. Can you guys please post up a video on how to carb linkage mm. for the throttle shaft on the kill shot system? That is with the kill shots throttle body linkage. Is it of the Edelbrock or Holly layout? Oh, there's mm. that H word again. Oh, no. Reason I ask, <laughs> reason I ask, I am installing a kill shot with a 700 R4 in my mm -hmm. 82 C10. Cool. Obviously, I cannot use the factory brackets to hook up my TV cable on the kill shot. Mm. You need to purchase these. Okay, so we could do that. Yeah. Yeah, Real we can easy, we can do actually. a we can do a throttle linkage setup. Yeah, it's no yeah. problem. Um, thing about linkages is, you know, we don't necessarily have a you know a straight recommendation because people do it with all different kinds of stuff, and yeah. we don't make one because if we made a throttle linkage, we have to make it for every possible conceivable throttle linkage. Yeah, I mean that's just not. You, we could, <laughs> I mean, we could make we could make one. But it would only work for certain applications, and people would try to make it work with all applications. Yep. So that's the issue that we run into. Yeah. Um, that's why we have so many uh, distributor options. And even though we don't have every distributor option, we have just about everything that we recommend for our yeah. units. Mm -hmm. So it's the same principle. Yeah. So. We do have the linkage that is out there on one of the test vehicles, though, that we could mm -hmm. just like go over yeah get a video of it and then just like let's do that we'll do it this week down in there you want to do that Dude, this week i'm down let's all go. right it's coming out this week sometime <laughs> you'll see it andrew andrew underwood, underwood. 5061 when mm -hmm. looking up the specs of the handheld it states that there is multiple display screen options yep so if you go to the icon in the top right and then you go let's hold down i think actually yeah you just hold it down It'll ask you. That's if on you the Pro Dash. Mm -hmm. That's just on the Pro Dash. Mm -hmm. It, it won't be on the the, the yeah, five yeah. inch. The five inch has the little yeah. rotating. I was thinking about the uh, system select. And I got that mixed up. You can do that too. Yeah, but that is choosing between which system you're running. It's not yeah. really a a dash setup. But on the mm -hmm. actual Pro Dash, the seven inch Pro Dash, you, have you just hold it down and it'll pop up two screens and it's like a dash setup and then it's your actual menu right. thing. All right. Ben McCrady, am I saying this correct? 2152. Is the closed loop self learn that good? If it is, how do you have to save that tune? I'm about to wire mine up within a week. Plus, there's no install videos on the jackpot install start to finish. It may be super easy. Just want to see a video of what to expect. Great question. Um, here's what you're going to do. You're going to read the instructions um, and you've got everything hooked up correctly. Once you go through the start wizard, it's a very simple setup. It's it's just uh, you have to run it before you do anything else. You come, you click that button at the top right hand corner. It'll say wizards and it'll give you the option for the start wizard. And you put in all of your information there. Once you've completed it, it's going to ask you to key off and then keep it for about five seconds. Do it for about five, ten seconds. Key back on again. Um, and you're good to start the vehicle for the first time. After a little bit, that um, engine's going to warm up and get into a closed loop tune. Bradley, feel free to cut me off at any point and correct me. But after after um, it gets to a closed loop um, cycle, it's going to start to learn, as you say. Um, and then after a while, you can um, have it... Uh, you can actually go into tuning and shut off the self-learn features um, by going to tuning. You go to uh, fuel, you go to advanced, and it has it right in there. Now, this is what I will say. That is a base map tune. That is yeah. not like you're completely and totally dialed in. So if you're looking for a system that is going to just completely self-learn and you will never have to take it to a tuner ever, that's not exactly what this is going yeah, to be. Yeah, you do have to tune it. Yeah, if you want, if you want it to get the most out of your engine, I would absolutely, and every single tech would recommend to take it to a tuner. And yeah. we have recommendations for that as well. Yeah. Great recommendations. We've got tuners that do that all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Great feedback from that. But yeah. all the self-learn is with the closed loop 
is mm. fuel trims. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So all it's going to do when you key on, you first crank it up, cold mm. start, whatever, you're going to notice the injector pulse width is a bit high and all the numbers are a bit high. Then a closed loop hits and everything starts to just come down and you start to get closer to your target idle, mm. your target AFR and your injector pulse width and everything starts to dial in. And what it's going to do is it's going to read those short-term fuel trims and just take off whatever it is. Mm. And once again, go into this new update that we've been right. talking about. If you see it's pulling out 20% on average, take 20% out of the table. Question 429. Actually, I read the last one. You're going to read this one. Yeah, I got Just it. Kidding. Um, this is two in one. STE49. Two questions if there is time. Yeah, we got time. We That's have time. what we're here for. We the people. Are. We're here for the people. <laughs> there it is. I thought we were going to get through the whole no. thing and not say it. No. We're here for the people, baby. No. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You would have we are here for the people. We're so money. here for the people that we are so in-depth into these questions that we almost miss it. We are here so, for the people. I have a Royal Flush system with a mild 350. Mm. Okay. On initial cold startup, truck will not start or will start just fine and then lose RPM where I need to help it with the throttle. But after, it's perfect. Hot startups are perfectly fine. I figure it's part of the startup decay settings, but mm. haven't figured it out. Okay, so with this one, I'm not exactly sure where it is in the handheld. I believe it's um, tuning and then idle. And it's called parked air versus ETC. So it's your parked air versus engine coolant temp. What you can do is you can go in there and it's a 2D table, and you can grab those points and add some air to it in the colder engine coolant temp um, settings section. or whatever section. And that will allow it to actually open the throttle plates a little bit more so you distance. don't have to use the throttle input and, and, and cold start, and it will help it mm. um, idle up a little bit yeah. more. So. Yeah. If that doesn't work, go ahead and uh, just give us a call, and um, we'll try to help you work that out as well. Yeah. Uh, Caesar Zambrano. Wow. CG8SD. Hey guys, question. Jackpot for 5.3 LS drive by cable manual with TBSS intake. Is it, am I reading that right? TBSS intake. Yep. Can I use the 50 pound injectors? I don't see why not. You just got to make sure to change, change it. it in the handheld. You have yep. to make sure to change it because if you have 50 pound injectors in there and you have it set at the 35s that's going to be a problem handheld that's going to be a problem that's going to be a big you problem. just have to make sure to go in there and change and it change it to 50 pounds also if they are 50 pound an hour injectors you will also need to make sure that they are um ev6 injectors yep. so that they plug into the handheld if not you'll need adapters for them and then um yeah high impedance pico injectors are actually what our system's rated for but yep. Adapters are great. Look up adapters if you've got EV1 or Moltec or something like that. Is there anything else that you want to add? I, I usually ask Tim that he goes on on some crazy tangent. We love you, Tim. Well, see, here's the thing. I've uh -oh. Got, oh, man. I've got secrets, but they cannot be let out of the bag. I let out multiple bags of secrets on this episode. It uh, is what it is. These are hyper top secret. As Tim oh, would say. okay. So hyper top secret stuff. can't really let them loose just yet oh my goodness more to come thank you guys so much for watching this episode of tech tuesday if you liked it please leave a like down below if you have any questions about aces uh, efi or anything related to fuel injection also leave a comment down below if you see aces tech tuesday media anywhere else on social media feel free to share it some love and uh yeah super excited for the next tech tuesday video please leave more comments to address. Yeah. We'll see you guys, and as always, later.